Thank you for tuning in. I'm Mark Jackson from Source ADV, and today I've got a 2020 Tacoma, well, my 2020 Tacoma, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to put in this Rough Country tri-fold hard tonneau cover. I chose this over a topper or over a soft tonneau cover because I wanted something that was somewhere between uh, being lockable, right, where I could actually put skis and camping gear and that sort of thing and lock the tailgate and still have a lockable uh, compartment back here. But I also wanted something that was easily removable. Um, and this thing is that great balance in between the two of those things. Uh, yeah, so today I'm going to show you how easy it is to install it. I'm also going to go over some initial impressions and kind of initial review. Um, it's a, literally a two-tool install. You, all you need is a half-inch wrench and a T30 Torx and maybe a pair of scissors. Oh, well, you actually need a drill too to drill into the side of the bed for the drains. There's actually water drains that run along the rails here. But overall, super easy install. The first step is to remove the factory bulk head using your T30 Torx. We're doing this to seal the gap in between the bulk head and the side of the bed using the included foam gap sealers. Once you're done installing the foam gap sealers, reinstall the factory bulkhead. Do not tighten down, make sure everything is flush first, and then you can tighten down the five or six T30 Torx bolts. Now you can see that with the tonneau cover sitting on top, there's no more gap. Next, you're gonna remove the factory tie downs. Loosen them, remove the end cap, and then just slide them out the back of the rail and put them aside. You will not be using them again. Now you're gonna find the six Rough Country retaining nuts that slide into the factory rail. You're gonna put three in each side and then reinstall the factory end cap. Now's a good time to prepare your bolts. It's gonna go bolt, lock washer, large washer. Do this for all six bolts. Looking good. So now find the rough country rail and put it on the bed and align the retaining nuts as best as you possibly can before starting any of the bolts. Once you feel like they're lined up and you can see them in the holes, start the middle bolt. As you work through it, make sure that everything is flush and level and just lightly hand tighten the bolts and then tighten them all down completely. Once you get both sides installed and tightened down, it's time to install the drains. Okay, so now that the rails are all installed and looking really level, the instructions actually say to put the cover on now. But the problem is the cover, when it tri-folds, covers up the whole front of the bed. You're gonna have to drill a hole through the plastic of the bed and, uh, you know. So that's what I'm gonna do is do the, do the water drains first and then I'll put the tonneau cover on, so. I think it's a better order of operations rather than having to pull it back off again. Oh, just to note too, uh, I'm using a pilot bit first, right here, right? And then going to step up to a 5 8 So here's the 5 8 bit on a normal drill, right? Just like a wood bit. Oh. Make sure when you drill your hole that you go directly even uh, down from the tube on the rail because there is a little metal bracket, maybe you can't see it right there, that I kind of tagged lightly with this with the bit. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can still get my tube by it, but yeah, so when you do it, just come straight down from this little tube guy and then go through, not forward, because I was trying to make the tube be a little bit further forward to be a little bit less damage prone, but yeah, you want to come straight down or a little bit back even and then you won't hit this bit in, in probably roughly one inch down from there. So Okay, so all said and done, it's kind of what it looks like. I'm probably gonna replace this garbage plastic pipe um, with some, some kind of rubber tube hose, but this will be just fine for now. So yeah, I don't like how it doesn't slide all the way up. It's kind of a pain in the ass to work with. I'm just gonna use get some, some kind of clear silicone or rubber hose and replace this stuff, but it does the trick for now. So the next step is to place the cover on the front of the bed with the buckles in the front. You want to make sure that the 
rubber lip over the bulkhead. And that, that thing is binding or sealing incorrectly. Well, second to last step is to unfold the cover and see if the rear latch, both the rear latches work well. Like so. See, this one goes in. There we go. So, all you gotta do is loosen them up and those little guys slide right into these channels. Which I'll show you how to do one, but just put all four in there and don't tighten them up entirely yet. Okay, so you can see, there's the, camp, the clamps. They slide into there. You can see the bolt one right in there. And that thing guy, that guy slides right there. And then this little guy, I'm gonna show you, get some more light on this. There we go, that's better. And you can see that the clamp here goes right on that little nut. Like so. So, we're just gonna get them on there. It's not gonna fully tighten, just gonna get them finger tight. And then you just wanna check your tailgate operation. Like so. Let's see, how's this look? Looking pretty good. So the last thing you do, once you've confirmed that all the latching mechanisms and everything are working really well, is just to fold her up and then go and tighten your brackets down there that you just hid. You gotta tighten one, two, three, four there. Um, and I'll show you kind of what that looks like. Ugh. So you just wanna make sure that it's hooked into the little lip there. So now all I gotta do is tighten them down. And so removal of the cover is just as easy, right? All you gotta do is unscrew these four things, pull the brackets off. I'll probably just toss them right in this little thing right here. Um, and then just take the whole cover off. It only weighs about I'd say about 60 pounds. So yeah, so you can see those are nice and set in there. Cool. That looks like it's it. Looks great on the truck, huh? So you can see here, there's definitely a little bit of a gap in the back, but eh, nothing, nothing to write home about. You can see there that it looks like they're actually made it so that the rail is meant to catch water into that little trough and then send it down. But overall, pretty darn cool. Looks great. And now with the truck keys, there we go. Lock tailgate. I actually don't know if this one stock comes with unlocking No, so the 2020s do not come with a factory unlock via the fob. So there's a company called Pop and Lock that I'll probably look at installing to make it so that I can unlock all of this on just the just the key fob. That would be awesome versus having to take this little tiny key out like this. Well, there we go. Now, and as you can see, a bunch of space in there looks really good. These little. These little clamps work really well, super easy. Just fold it up, boom, pretty cool. One of the things that's pretty cool is that when you're not using the buckles, they just clip in to there like that so that they don't hang down to the bed and get caught on something or torn off. So there you go. So all right, let's just do this again. So there's clip there and it clips into the rail. Nice. And then fold this guy back. And that's it. Rough country. Looking good. 
I'm gonna go ahead and give this only a one out of five on the F-bomb scale of difficulty for install. Probably took me about 45 minutes total, uh, maybe an hour because of the filming stuff. But if I was just ripping through it, it probably would have taken half an hour. The only thing that was a little bit hard was placing that hole for the drain pipes of the rail here. Um, yeah, just make sure that you go right in line with the tube that hangs down versus trying to go as far forward and kind of tuck it away because there is a metal bracket there. Um, but the tubes, my tubes still go through. I'm just going to change them out with uh, clear uh, tubes at some point so I can also see if there's any uh, stuff getting clogged in there. Um, but overall, yeah, fit and finish is fantastic. The, all the operation is super easy and super fantastic. It really is great. You know, is it as sealed as I thought? You know, uh, it's about what I expected, right? I think it's probably still going to let some water in. But uh, overall, the quality seems great. Um, the install is super easy. The latching system, these latching system things look like they work great. You can actually pull just from one side to lift up. Looking good. Strength wise, I mean, I feel like you could walk on this. I don't know if I would, you know, like why destroy, potentially destroy a $600 ton of cover. But I mean, if you had to walk on it for some reason, maybe you could, but uh, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna do that test. You guys are more than welcome to do that test and then let me know how it goes. All right. It feels, I'd give the security like a four out of five. Like, yeah, you could probably, beat this open with a hammer or beat it open with an axe but you can do that to a window too so it it, it serves its purpose for security ease of use ease of removal um and it looks fantastic and i'm guessing i'm gonna get a little bit more gas mileage too without the the wind drag and the tailgate so super happy with it and sadly you do lose these tie down points so I really like a lot of tie down points, so I'm going to do another video on uh, some adding some tie down points to the front, adding an accessory rail there, and adding some bed stiffeners that have tie down points too, um, so that you can still have plenty of points to secure your bike from. The thing that I don't love about this cover is that this corner here is usually where you kind of lodge your dirt bike tire either on the right or the left if you want to do diagonal type uh, hauling. And this is not super strong here, so I'm putting in this new bar that goes all the way across here that'll have three slots to lock the front tire in. And we'll go over that in the, the adding tie downs to the bed video. So. All right, thank you for tuning in with me here at Source ADV. Um, please remember to subscribe to our channel. Uh, also, if you wanna see more videos on dirt bikes and that sort of thing, go to SourceADV.com. Uh, this truck, I'll basically be building it out over the next six months to just make it as good of a kind of a bike hauler, but it's also my daily driver. So yeah, I'll do a few more videos on this thing. And, uh, but yeah, anyways, keep the rubber side down on the bikes and, uh, yeah, have fun out there in the wild. Take care.